welcome to Sai Surya's Academy. If you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button and support us. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the data types used in C language. It consists of four types, primary, user-defined, derived and then empty. In the primary data type, it consists of int integer, character, float and double. Four types we are having. And in the user defined, we are having a type def. Using the type def, we can be able to provide the user defined names. We can discuss all those user defined derived and then empty data type later. In today's video, we are going to discuss or highlight only about the primary data types. Next comes the derived data types. It consists of arrays, pointers, structures and unions. Arrays can be of single dimensional array and multi-dimensional array. Similarly, pointers and everything is a vast topic we will discuss later. And then the last one, empty, which is a void. Void is nothing but a empty data type. It can be used in functions which does not return any value. Now, moving on to primary, primary data types. In today's video, in this four data types also, we are going to specifically discuss about the integer data type. Okay. Now, first we want to know about what is a data type and why it is needed or what is the requirement in the C language. Consider a lively example. Suppose if you are moving to a different location or you want to travel a one day trip. You will be carrying a very small luggage having a one or two set of dresses. With a small suitcase or a small luggage. Consider the same you are planning for a family trip for a 2 weeks or a 10 days or a 2 weeks trip. Then that small luggage will not be enough for your clothes. You will be carrying a very large luggage or a very large suitcase for 10 days or 15 days trip. So depending upon the clothes, the luggage sizes vary. Similarly, in C also, depending upon the data type, the memory requirements vary. Consider the memory is like this. When you want to use an integer, some space will be allocated. When you want to use a float type, some space will be allocated. When you want to use character, some space will be allocated. Okay. Now we want to know Depending upon the data, the specific memory space has to be allocated so that the memory space can be used efficiently as well as it will be very helpful for the C compiler to run the program. So the data type has to be specified depending for the memory requirement as well as the memory requirement and the range will be specified. That is the values can be represented only with the particular values from this to this value. This only we are going to study in the data types now. Now consider in the integer data type. We are going to focus on integer data type. In the integer data type, there are a signed integer and an unsigned integer. What is a signed integer means? It consists of both the positive as well as negative. Say for example, plus 10, it is a positive number. Minus 10, it is a negative number. And then unsigned number which consists of only positive numbers only. So what is the difference between a signed and an unsigned? Or what is the need? In the sign itself, we can be able to represent the same number 10 as plus 10 as well as minus 10. Then what is the need of a unsigned? You have to clarify. So consider the signed integer 
A integer is what is an integer? It is a whole number which consists of only positive numbers that is no decimal numbers are allowed. These are all the basic things we already know. So now the signed integer can be represented as a min from the range can be given as minus infinity to plus infinity. That is it can be able to be both positive or negative and in the unsigned integer the value is 0 to infinity. So with this concept we are able to now we are able to give the range of a particular data type. So considering in the integer data type we are having data of three sizes, three different sizes that is short int, integer and then long int. That is the short int is very less than the number size is very less than the integer. Integer is a having a particular size and then long integer it is longer than the integer data type. So how much sizes are needed for all these types and how the ranges are calculated. Let us discuss. Now we are going to discuss about the uh, 16-bit compiler. Consider the short int which occupies 1 byte. But nowadays mostly 32-bit compilers are available. So uh, it will occupy 2 bytes depending upon the system it may vary. Now consider it occupies a 1 byte. So how these values are fixed? In the 1 byte it consists of how many bits? 1 byte is it consists of 8 bits. So 8 bits represented as 2 power 0 to 2 power 7. So first of all finding the positive value let us discuss. Now starting from 2 power 0 which gives 1, 2 power 1 which gives 2. Similarly till 2 power 0 to 2 power 7 we are going to calculate the total which we will be getting as 255. So this 255 can be written as 0 to 255. So for the short end of 1 byte its range can be represented as a, for a positive number as 0 to 255. That is for positive number means it is for the unsigned integer. For unsigned short int the range can be given as 0 to 255. Now we want to find for the signed integer. So dividing 255 by 2 which gives 127.5 it comes I think. So when considering 127 it can be written as the positive number is 127 and the negative number is minus 128. It will move on. Now it will be clear I think. That is the number from minus 128 and then plus 127. So in the table it can be written as Zero to one twenty seven, and then here it can be represented as don't get confused minus one twenty eight here. So, in this using this table, now we are going to evaluate the values. Consider a short int number which has a value as a equal to 125. Now consider the short int value a equal to 125. Suppose we are incrementing this a value a equal to a plus 3. Here the final value is 127 only. Consider the number after this number minus 127 
minus 126. So, 125 plus 3, 126, 127. Above that, it, it cannot be moved. So, the value will be, as a circle, it will be taken here. And the value will be printed as A equal to minus 128. That is, after 127, as a cycle, it will take the value as minus 128. So, the range for unsigned integer for a short int is 1 by and the range is 0 to 255. For the signed integer, that is that we can hold both positive and the negative numbers. The value can be represented as a 127 minus 128. The negative side is minus 128. Hope you would be very clear. So, this is for the short int. Similarly, for the integer, it consists of 2 bytes. So, 2 bytes represent 16 bits. So, 2 power 0 to 2 power 15. So, the value will be from 65, 535. This is the positive number. So, for the integer number, the value will, range will be from 0 to 65, 535. It will be, the value is getted by adding 2 power 0 to 2 power 15. So, what will be the range of a signed integer? That is minus 3 to 7, 6, 8. 2 plus 3 to 7, 6, 7. When this number is divided by 2, we can get this range. This is the range for the integer. For the short integer, the value is 0 to 255. And the, for the integer, the value is from 0 to 65, 535. And for the Sign the integer, the value is from minus 3 to 768 to plus 3 to 767. For the long integer, the size will be of 4 bytes. So, 4 into 8, 32. So, 2 power 0 to 2 power 31, you have to calculate. You don't need to remember all those higher value numbers. The numbers will be very large numbers. So, just to skip that number. Just understand the concepts, how the ranges are fixed. Hope you would be clear. Next we will see the overall integer tabular column with the format specifiers. Now the final table for the integer data type is given here. We can now discuss. The integer data types are unsigned, shorting, signed shorting and then unsigned integer, signed integer, unsigned long int and then signed long int. And the memory requirement for shortings 1 byte. This is for considered for the 16 bit compiler. For 32 bit, the short int always occupies the 2 byte only. So, 1 byte for short int and for integer 2 bytes. For long integers, both signed and unsigned, 4 bytes. Range as we had discussed before, it is from 0 to 255 and for signed minus 128 to 127 similarly the other values are given here in the long integer the values will be very large 4 comma 2.94 you don't need to remember all these values just to know how these values are calculated and how the sizes of the memory size is allocated the format specifies for short int is unsigned integer is unsigned h in some books it is referred as h and some books it is referred as i for short int suppose if you know write down in the comment section and then percentage h for signed short int similarly for unsigned integer always integer numbers are represented using percentage the signed integer for unsigned ud for Similarly, for long int, 
L D and then for unsigned unsigned long integer for integer it is always represented as D. Okay, that's all for today's video. Hope you would be very clear about what are all the data types or integer data types and how the ranges are fixed. Everything is explained in a very clear way. If you find this video really useful, share this video with your friends. Make a small appreciation comment. Thank you in the comment section. Keep supporting Sai Suryas Academy. Thank you.